we will now look at some of the different ways that we can share this Power BI report. So we have mentioned sharing the .pbix file and now we have it published and we can get access to this from anywhere. But along the toolbar at the top, we have a few other options. To start with, we have this export button. And if I click on that, we have the opportunity to export this report into a PowerPoint file as a PDF or to print. Now with these three options, you do lose all the interactivity and the filtering aspects of your report. So they are not necessarily the best options. But if you don't need people to be able to filter or interact, or maybe you don't want them to, then they fit the purpose. They are also file types that people are familiar with. To receive a PDF and to browse over a report, people will feel comfortable and maybe not as intimidated by some of the other methods on show. So although they lose functionality, they do have their advantages. Next to the export button, we have a share button. So I can share this with other colleagues by using that email. You do need a Power BI Pro license to do that. You do need a paid license. Further along, we have this ellipsis, these three dots on the end. And there's also a few options in there. We have the option to download the .pbix file. So if I was at a different location viewing this report on my browser, but I didn't have the original file with me, if that was left back home or on another device, then I could download the file here and now and share that. We have the option to analyze in Excel. Once again, that's just for Power BI Pro users. But then we have this embed option, which is a fantastic option because we can generate some embed code and then we can embed that into any public website or blog post or social media where it will accept some embed code. And then that will be easy to share with anyone, whether they have a Power BI license or not. One of the recent Power BI updates was that your Power BI admin will need to enable the use of embed codes before this setting can be used. Whereas in the past, anybody could generate these embed codes. It's now controlled by the admin, which might be yourself, it might be other people at your company, to try and control how this data can be used in public. So that is a setting that admin need to enable in the admin portal. Then they can go and create these embed codes and we can use them. So if I clicked on publish to web, I have this embed code ready to be used. I have a link which I can easily share via email to anybody to view this report with or without a Power BI account. And also this HTML code to insert into a blog post or any website that I have access to. So depending on what data your report is showing, it's a setting that you may need to be careful if it's the type of data that you don't really want the public to be viewing. But it's a brilliant setting which gets us outside of worrying about whether we have a pro license or or any of the other constraints around the way we share this file. So I'm a big fan of these embed codes. I'm going to close that for now, but there's a few different ways there that we can share this report from sharing the original .pbix file, but the limitations will be that people need the Power BI desktop software to be able to open it. Then we had those exports, such as PDF and PowerPoint, lightweight, simple, familiar to everybody. However, they lose the functionality of the filtering and the interactivity. 
There's some Power BI Pro options, but then we had the embed code, which will maintain all of the filtering and the interactivity. They'll also be easy for people to use, just following a link or clicking things on a website. But it does bring it out into that public domain, and that's something, depending on what your report is, that you might have to bear in mind. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.